Hi viewers, we welcome you once again to the channel Husband and Wife Material. And once again, this is the channel whereby we bring to you couples that have been in marriage for some time, or we bring to you young people who are dating and they tell us their experience in dating and their experience in marriage so that we can learn from their story. And we always tell you every end of the month, we have a competition and we usually select the couple of the month or the single of the month and the winners of this competition are selected by you and we promise that the winners of this competition will be taken to a hotel of their choice selecting from three hotels the panari hotel the eka hotel and the emara hotel so please continue uh, voting for your favorite couple, your favorite single, so that they can have this chance to be treated nicely. Welcome and have fun and also learn from people who have been there and have experienced. And today we have a wonderful, wonderful woman of God. She's saved, she's a pastor, and she has been in the journey we are talking about, and she's going to tell us her experience in dating, her experience in marriage, and what we can learn from whatever she went through. So I would like to welcome her so that she can tell us her names. I am Pastor Susan Mashua. Uh -huh. I am born again. Wow. I'm a single mother. Uh -huh. I can also qualify to become a widow. Yeah. Because my husband just died about four months ago. Uh -huh. I've brought some two beautiful children alone, uh -huh. a son and a daughter. Uh -huh. And God has been faithful throughout the journey. Yeah. I can call him Ebenezer this far. True. Amen. And now, Sue, welcome mm. to the program Husband and Wife Material. Mm. This is where we tell our story mm. so that the others can learn from it. Yes. And you have told us your husband passed on mm. four months ago. We are yes. sorry for that. Mm. And kindly, you can take us through the journey, how you met this man, how you married, and the journey through. Yeah, I met this man when I was staying in Dandora Estate. Mm -hmm. And we courted for some uh, few months. Mm -hmm. Then we decided to settle down. How old were you when you met this man? I was uh, actually 21 years. You are 21 years? Yes. And how old was the man? He was 28 years old. He was seven years older than you? Yes. All right. Yes. So, so when you met this man, mm -hmm. you are telling us you courted for some time? Yeah, just for a very short time, it was hasty. Uh -huh. How long about, did you court? About three months and we decided to settle down. So you courted for three months yes. and you settled down with yeah, this man? Yeah. Can you say the short period of courting contributed maybe to some things that happened later? Yeah, it contributed mm -hmm. because I didn't have enough time uh -huh. to study him and to learn his character. Yeah. It was done history. Mm -hmm. And maybe if I would have taken some time. Yeah. I would have maybe changed my mind mm -hmm. or even uh, waited for God longer. All right. Yes. Now, according to the few months that you dated, yes. maybe at this juncture, mm -hmm. what would you tell someone who is dating now mm -hmm. and maybe they have not stayed so much in the dating period? Yes. What can you tell them? What advice can you offer to them? I would just tell them mm -hmm. that it's good to see God first. Yeah. It is good to wait on God first. Mm -hmm. It is good to hear the voice of God. Yeah. Because most of the time when we do things history, mm -hmm. we do the dating experience with emotions mm -hmm. without waiting for God's liberation. Yeah. So I can tell those who are dating mm -hmm. to seek God first and even to seek His voice. Yeah. And to take a little bit uh, longer. To take time. So, to take time. Mm -hmm. So that they may be able to learn this person. Mm -hmm. Because it is very easy for a person mm -hmm. to hide this character. Yeah. But uh, at least uh, when you date, uh, when you give the dating scene a, a little bit longer, mm -hmm. you are able to run the character. Mm -hmm. You are able even to see the hidden uh, characters that you may not be able to uh, know mm -hmm. or even discover in a short time. Yeah, and also yes. you are able to hear from God. Clearly. You are able to hear from God because mm -hmm. while you are dating, you are still seeking the face of God. Yeah. And God may reveal 
what this person is or whether this person is meant to be. Mm -hmm. But sometimes in haste, mm -hmm. you do not uh, even wait to hear the, the voice of God because you're doing things with emotions mm -hmm. without God's confirmation. Okay, okay, yes. okay, okay. Yeah. So you are telling us, Pastor Sue, mm -hmm. we can enter into marriage yes. on our own yes. because of the emotions we have. Yes. And they hinder us yes. from learning the character of this person yes. and also from hearing the voice from of God. God, the confirmation mm -hmm. from God. Yeah. One mistake I made, mm -hmm. I was still born again. Mm -hmm. And because of uh, the pressure of uh, my fellow uh, friends, mm -hmm. that I can say it was peer pressure. Yeah. I wanted to get uh, to get settled like any, everybody else. Yeah. So I really wanted to get settled, and when I saw somebody who was really interested in me, mm -hmm. in me, mm -hmm. I decided that uh, it was time. Yeah, I do not seek the face of God. Mm -hmm. When I just had somebody want uh, to settle down with me, mm -hmm. I agreed mm -hmm. without first seeking the, the the confirmation from God. Mm -hmm. I did not wait on God. Okay. So I made the first mistake. One thing that uh, I was born again. Mm -hmm. Mm. I dated somebody who was not born again. Okay. Yeah, I dated somebody first who was not born again. Mm -hmm. And you know, mm -hmm. two uh, people cannot agree mm -hmm. if they have no agreement or they have no covenant. We didn't mm -hmm. have any uh, Godly covenant. Mm -hmm. And that's the first mistake I made mm -hmm. because right and darkness mm -hmm. we can never cannot walk together. Can not walk together. Mm -hmm. So I didn't wait on God. Mm -hmm. I just saw a very handsome, dark and handsome man <laughs> and decided uh -huh. this is the man meant for me. Okay. So I was just looking for a tall, dark and handsome. Mm, without and necessarily knowing the character yeah, of this handsome man. I just saw man. somebody who was polite, mm -hmm. somebody who was not um, a very outspoken. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he looked cool. Mm -hmm. In fact, he looked too cool. He looked polite. Mm -hmm. And I thought this is, uh, I, have hit an, uh, I have hit the jackpot. So you mm -hmm. are telling us, Susan, mm -hmm. it's like uh, you are regretting yeah. this relationship. Yeah, I do, I what do. went on during the, 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 after you quoted for three months, yeah. you entered into marriage. Yes. What happened in the marriage? Um, what actually happened, mm. uh, there was that character that had not realized, mm -hmm. but, uh, but I had seen some red flags. During courtship, yes. The three months you quoted, you could see some, some signs, say, but uh, yeah. I, 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 I didn't think they were very serious. What are some of the signs that you saw in the three months? Selfishness. Mm -hmm. uh, this person turned out to be very selfish. He was mm. working. In fact, he was working for an NGO. Mm -hmm. But he decided mm -hmm. uh, to give me all the burden. Mm -hmm. I would pay the house, even when you are quoting. No, not oh. when we are quoting, when, oh. we dis when we settled down. Okay, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. he, uh, he, he decided to, gi mm -hmm. to give me all the burdens, mm -hmm. all, the fam all, all the family uh, responsibilities became mine. Mm -hmm. He would refuse even to pay the house rent, he would mm -hmm. even refuse to pay school fees, even buy food. Or so this time rent. already you have gotten children. Yeah. After entering yeah. the marriage, yes. how long did you take to have children? Uh, just one year. Oh, so you got your firstborn. Yeah. Uh -huh. After you got, had he changed in the period between mm -hmm. your marriage and the firstborn? Mm -hmm. Did yeah. he have these characteristics even in that period before you got I, your firstborn? Yeah, it, it, it was not um, very evident when mm -hmm. we were quoting, mm -hmm. but immediately we sort of died. Mm. That you is, married? Uh, yeah, we, yeah mm -hmm. we married. That mm -hmm. is when I, dis I, I saw those... Uh, Trades mm -hmm. portraying themselves. Mm -hmm. He was selfish. Mm -hmm. He would always say he doesn't have money yet. He had money. He was working for an NGO. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, mm -hmm. he would not wish to contribute to the family. Mm -hmm. Yes. Were you staying in the same house? Amma? He was working far mm -hmm. and you, you were left. Yeah, he was working in Uganda. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was staying in Kahawa West. Mm -hmm. With, yeah, the with the children. That's the now you have child. already the first child. The first child is mm -hmm. my daughter, yeah. And he's not providing, he's not, he's not providing, paying house rent? Yeah, he's not providing for mm -hmm. house rent. He's not even uh, even helping, yeah, uh, prov providing even for, for, for food. Mm -hmm. Or even paying the house girl. Mm -hmm. he, he had na he was no there was no input from him. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you stayed with this man and you are the one who is paying rent? Yes. You are the one providing for the children yes. for the child? Yeah. In terms of food? Yes. 
na school fees ya yeah, kila kitu uh-huh. then when he start he started going to school uh-huh. i had all the burden to myself mm. and uh-huh. when you talk to this man uh-huh. what did he say he became abusive he uh-huh. beat me uh-huh. and it was very hard even when i would manage uh-huh. uh, okay it was a struggle uh-huh. but i would do everything so that uh, people would not see my nakedness oh you didn't want even you are problems in the marriage to be known by be the known people. By people so, so you try. kept quiet yeah i would mm-hmm. take advances i would take loans so that i cover up uh, uh, the gaps mm-hmm. but even when i decided to cover the gaps so that um, I, i wouldn't talk about i was still praying and thinking mm-hmm. that maybe god would change him Oh god that uh-huh. eventually it became an uphill task mm. because even as i prayed mm-hmm. he never changed mm-hmm. he never provided mm-hmm. and now he graduated mm. into being abusive he started so being apart abusive. from refusing to provide yeah. he started physical abuse yeah, beating he started, you yeah he started physical abuse mm-hmm. now if, if he has denied as a uh, rent and mm. he knew i didn't have rent mm-hmm. and when he comes he finds that i already paid the house mm. then it became a problem mm-hmm. because i would be beaten and i was or he would ask me mm. where did you get the money mm-hmm. i knew you 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 are uh, last month i had not paid the house this month mm-hmm. i had not paid the, mm-hmm. how how comes you have managed mm-hmm. so he started uh, beating me and saying that there were men who are who are helping me mm-hmm. to pay the rent and to pay the rent mm-hmm. so it became he doesn't want to help me it became even confusing it mm-hmm. was so stressful mm-hmm. because he doesn't want to provide and mm-hmm. when you make ends meet through mm-hmm. the struggle mm-hmm. he, he accuses comes, you he accuses uh, he accuses me that there are some men mm-hmm. who are helping me mm-hmm. so if if uh, he would think maybe because of the stress mm-hmm. i was uh, going through he mm-hmm. expected me not even to go to church to yeah. be jovial yeah. even being jovial in the house he would come from um uh, from uh, or, or maybe from the city uh-huh. or even from outside the country because he would work in Uganda he would mm-hmm. work in Tanzania mm-hmm. that is where the NGO had sent him mm-hmm. And when ja- I just open the house, the house and I find that maybe we were laughing with my small daughter or we look jovial mm-hmm. or even we look glorious because yeah. God gives glory to his yeah. children yeah. that that was a claim what? even wearing a, a, a beautiful dress on a Sunday when you are going to church even doing your hair mm. he knew he had subjected me to a lot of pressure mm-hmm. and he knew my little salary would not uh, was Accommodate. not yeah mm-hmm. but I used to tell, uh, I told you that I would take low Mm-hmm. advances mm-hmm. so that at least you would get by mm-hmm. so that is what would happen mm-hmm. he, he finds you in a nice dress mm-hmm. if, you, if he thinks they are um, in the cupboard mm-hmm. you have some you have packed some food that would be a, a, a reason to be beaten he would just Why? beat me even when my daughter mm. would just go to Sunday school in a nice mm. dress that mm. was, was a reason to be beaten So every time when he would come he would mm. come and ask my daughter how many men have been coming to this house when did we meet last that is when, and my daughter maybe mm. would tell mm. her maybe mm. three days ago I mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would be beaten because For I, would, that. Uh, I would be asked who bought me meat Mm. Yeah, he believes he somebody. doesn't want you to dress. He doesn't, he doesn't want to see you a daughter clean yes, and yeah, beautiful. Even he doesn't want you to eat properly. Even being and he's me. not providing. And he's not providing. Uh-huh. Even watching a series on TV and he found you and the house girl you are laughing. Of you laughing. Uh-huh. He doesn't want you to laugh. Yeah, because somebody has made me happy. Where did oh, I God. pass during the day? Mm-hmm. It was very hard because sometimes he would call me. Mm. That time I remember I was staying mm. in Gidurai 45. Mm-hmm. He would call me and he, mm. uh, around maybe I was I was coming from work because mm-hmm. I would uh, I used to work in industry at that time. Yeah. And he would call me and he would tell me mm-hmm. or he would ask me why is the background silent? Why is the background silent? Are you mm. in a lodging? Why I, ju- I mm. just tell him in fact mm. where mm. I am I'm just mm. buying carrots. Mm-hmm. Can you give me that um, that person uh, that the phone so that I can confirm the owner of the key, uh, yeah. the, gro- gro- the grocery the, yeah mm-hmm. can you tell me give me mm. that mama I talk to her so that I can confirm how are you oh in Gilray and the background is very sad and you must be in a rodin so oh. I tell him wait oh. for me Mm-hmm. even seven minutes will not have passed before mm-hmm. i come into the house mm-hmm. even when i he sees me in the house mm-hmm. he will still beat me mm-hmm. so it become a bit it become too hard mm-hmm. even to live with him mm-hmm. in fact uh, 
when you it was very hard it was very hard so i decided to engage myself fully in the church service yeah I so that you can remove from this stress yeah, because yeah. you don't mm. want to leave this marriage yeah, yeah, I didn't want so to that give people it don't time. know what is happening yeah so that people uh, mm -hmm. also wanted it to, to give it a chance and mm -hmm. I still believed maybe God would work through it mm -hmm. but eventually it did never worked it never how long worked. did you wait mm -hmm. for this change yeah so that you can now say I'm fed up with this relationship how long did you take in the marriage Uh, from 1993 to 2004, that uh -huh. was nine years. Nine years. Yeah. Oh God. Uh -huh. mm, it was nine years, uh -huh. and I decided enough is enough. Uh -huh. In fact, uh, that time uh -huh. he had beaten me, uh -huh. had a swollen eye. Oh God. I could not even see. Uh -huh. And my fa my my dad decided to come from Murang and pass by to say hi, uh -huh. and it found uh, me hurt. Mm -hmm. with a swollen eye and wow. he asked me is this the kind of life you that really? you have decided because even your parents you had not told them yeah but my that day my my mom knew because mm -hmm. she was a, mm. she was out of the country by then mm -hmm. and she was praying we, i remember she was praying with me mm -hmm. and she was praying for me mm -hmm. and uh, every time i would tell her now that it, it had become it become too, so toxic mm -hmm. i could not hide it anymore mm -hmm. Because I, I I started sharing with my mother mm -hmm. and she started praying for me. Yeah. Because even this man mm -hmm. would just give the wrong information to my mother. Mm -hmm. I have found uh, my uh, my my daughter with a bicycle. Where did she get that bicycle? And you know, mm -hmm. this bicycle, would, uh, it was a gift from my mother. So he tells the right to your mom. <laughs> yeah, she tells mm -hmm. the right to my mom. Mm -hmm. I found our daughter mm -hmm. with a with bicycle, bicycle. Mm -hmm. and I, it must have been bought by a man. And mm -hmm. then, mm -hmm. surprisingly, it was my own mother who had gifted my daughter. Mm -hmm. And so my mom would know these are lies. Mm -hmm. And he said, mm -hmm. when um, you kick your daughter from mm -hmm. one goal, mm -hmm. I do not receive, I, I do not kick her from the other goal. Mm -hmm. What I do, mm -hmm. I stand in mm -hmm. where you have failed. Mm -hmm. Can you take your responsibility, mm -hmm. even when I give to your daughter, if, if it hurts you, mm -hmm. if it hurts you to provide for them, mm -hmm. if it hurts you to, to see them looking glorious, because that is what you have been doing. Yeah. Can you take your responsibility? Yeah. Because when you fail to... Uh, provide for them, mm -hmm. we will not let my daughter die. Yeah. So my mother was very helpful mm -hmm. and he tried to talk to him, mm -hmm. but uh, he never used to listen. Mm -hmm. He never used to listen. So that time when my dad came and visited and found me with a swollen eye, mm -hmm. he asked me what I had decided. I told him, if I, my dad, I'm fed up mm -hmm. with this kind of life. Mm -hmm. I, would, I want him out of my life. Mm -hmm. And so what my dad did, he went to the police post. Mm -hmm. We were given a, a letter mm -hmm. and he was told to vacate. Okay. In fact, he was actually vacating my parents. Because it was you who was paying rent. Yeah, yeah, he was actually vac vacating where we were staying. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So he was the one to come out because after all, he doesn't pay rent. Surprisingly, mm -hmm. I had lost my job in 2003. Mm. And so my mother gave me a two-bedroom house in Gidore. Mm -hmm. So surprisingly, he had followed us there. And stayed there. And stayed there. Uh -huh. So I'm telling you, mm. my dad said, uh, mm. I, I have given you respect. Mm. You are, you know, you are not even supposed to stay in, with your in-laws. Mm -hmm. And you are still beating my daughter. Imagine. In, yeah, where I have given her, mm -hmm. where I have given you both. Because mm -hmm. he was told then you can stay on as you mm. plan yourself. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could buy a plot, a plot around here. And, it's uh, and they were encouraging him to buy a plot also. They were not encouraging him to stay in, in the in-laws' house. Yeah. But he would still beat me in my mother's house. Mm -hmm. And yet he's the one who failed. We used to stay in Kawawest, a place called Maziwa. Mm -hmm. He failed to pay rent. And mm -hmm. when I lost my job, mm -hmm. I had no choice. Mm -hmm. So my mom asked me to move into a, a two-bedroom house yeah. um, where, where she used to stay. Mm -hmm. So that is, he followed us there. Mm -hmm. I didn't think he would even fit there. Mm -hmm. But surprisingly, he came and stayed on. And settled. And settled. Was he providing now that the he rent is being paid by the in laws? He was not providing and had even, act, had even lost my job. Oh, and God. he was still mm. continuing to be very abusive. Yeah. This time around, I was fed mm. up. Mm -hmm. And my dad was also fed up. Mm -hmm. 
So when he asked me what was my decision, my dad did not pressure me. He asked me what is mm. your decision mm -hmm. because that kind of life that you have chosen, mm -hmm. it is you, it will take you to the grave now. Mm. And so my dad mm. uh, told me go to the police post, mm -hmm. get a letter, mm -hmm. and ask him to leave. Mm -hmm. So that is how he left. Mm -hmm. And you can imagine, mm. even after he left, we mm. still continued with the, uh, visiting one another, mm -hmm. hoping that things would work out when we were uh, we were at a distance. Mm -hmm. But things never worked out. So how long did you stay in the after he walked out? Yeah. How long did you stay visiting each other? We visited each other for mm. a for a for a long time because mm. even 2009 we had tried to reconcile, mm. but still it didn't work out. Mm. After staying from uh, 2004 to 2009, mm. I thought he had changed. I yeah, thought five we had years. grown, we had matured. Mm. Mm -hmm. But only for him to, ke to come in my life mm. and started beating me again. Again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I, I thought uh, uh, he, uh, the, what my dad had told me, mm. it would eventually manifest because yeah, my dad yeah. was telling me, this man mm. will take you to the grave. Yeah. So 2009 is mm. when I said enough is mm. enough and mm. the, unfortunately, mm. unfortunately, mm. let me say fortunately, mm -hmm. he left me pregnant with our second child. Okay, yes. you 2009. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. and I was brave enough to say mm. I will still take care of this child. The two of them now? The two of them This now. one, oh, you are pregnant of the last born mm, yes. and you have the first born. Yes, uh -huh. yes. So even my son does not know his father. After the, the son was born, he didn't even he come didn't to see him. Sure because he said mm. it couldn't be his son. Oh my God. Yeah, it could be mm. his son. Mm. But before he passed on, he was trying to get back to us. Mm -hmm. That is this year now. Yeah, this year mm -hmm. now. He was mm -hmm. trying to get back to us. Mm. But he had, already, uh, he had already started another life. He had another wife. Oh, so, so he married. Want, he married. I didn't want mm. to interfere. Yeah. But uh, mm. I would give my daughter the freedom mm -hmm. to, to because visit my him. daughter loved him. Mm. I gave him the freedom to I gave her the freedom to go and visit mm -hmm. visit uh, the dad they would meet mm -hmm. in town. Mm -hmm. And even she attended the barrio, but I didn't want any conflict, so I never attended the barrio. Okay. Yes. Now all uh, na, na, mm -hmm. Su, Pastor mm -hmm. Su. Yes. Your story is very sad. Yeah. You really wanted your marriage to work. I wanted my marriage to stand. But it did not. It did not. So there is a girl there mm -hmm. watching us. Yes. Who is in this abusive relationship. Yes. And she doesn't want people to know. Yes. She's dying inside. Yes. But she doesn't want to say anything. Yes. What can you tell her? What I would tell the, uh, such kind of a girl mm -hmm. is when you see the lead frags, mm -hmm. do not ignore them. Mm -hmm. And also, mm -hmm. don't die alone. Mm -hmm. Involve other people mm -hmm. and even seek counsel. Mm -hmm. Because where there is many cancerous, mm -hmm. there is light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Because you'll encounter people with the wisdom of God, mm -hmm. or others, people who have uh, encountered such journeys, mm -hmm. and they will give you hope, or they will uh, they will talk you out of mm -hmm. what you have chosen. Mm -hmm. So I would rather somebody talks mm -hmm. about what is passing through, mm -hmm. or what she's passing through, mm -hmm. because eventually mm -hmm. you will be helped. Yeah. Don't die alone. I yeah. would tell that person, don't die alone. Mm -hmm. And also, I would want to encourage the young people to seek God first, because if yeah. you have seek God's guidance mm -hmm. first, I do not have ended up in a toxic marriage. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, let me ask you, Sue, yeah. though mm -hmm. it's a, a bit a uh, hard question to ask. Yes. Are there some signs, as mm -hmm. you quoted, and as you entered the, the marriage the first few months, yes. that was showing that this man could be toxic, such that the girl who is watching us there mm -hmm. can learn a toxic man mm -hmm. even before entering into marriage. Yeah, mm -hmm. there were some lead frag, lead frag signs, mm -hmm. because this man, when I would visit him, mm -hmm. He would make some demands. You can, mm -hmm. when he call, he calls you. Are you coming over this weekend? Mm -hmm. Just come with some fruits. Buy this and this. And he's not and telling you. And we are quoting. And we are quoting. Uh -huh. You make demands. I will mm -hmm. not make demands. Mm -hmm. But I thought maybe this was still part of uh, the, the relationship. Journey, the relationship. <laughs> but he would make mm -hmm. demands. Come mm -hmm. with this. Come with this. Come with this. And yet he's not sending me any money. 
He orders you to buy things. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. I would want to eat a chicken. I would mm -hmm. want some fruits. Some <laughs> come with apples from town. Come mm -hmm. with a chicken. Mm -hmm. And yet he's not sending me money. Money, yes. Mm -hmm. And he will not even refund. Yeah. So, I so you could buy. I could buy because mm -hmm. I was really mm -hmm. interested in marriage. Yeah. And I was also I I truly cared for this man. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then now finally. Mm -hmm. What can you advise the people who are getting into marriage, whether it is a, a, a man mm -hmm. or a girl mm -hmm. that are ready to get into marriage, mm -hmm. what can you tell them? Take time. Mm -hmm. uh, the word mm -hmm. I, would, I would use mm -hmm. is take time to mm -hmm. know that mm -hmm. person you mm -hmm. tend to marry. Take time mm -hmm. and seek the face of God first. Yeah. Let yeah. God confirm. Mm -hmm. If I would go to the, uh, the relationship uh, journey again, mm -hmm all game yeah i would take time mm -hmm. i would seek the first uh, the, uh, the face of god first mm -hmm. i would he learn mm -hmm. first what god uh intends in mm -hmm. my life with mm -hmm. this person mm -hmm. yeah i would seek god first because mm -hmm. there is, it is very bad to start a journey mm -hmm. that will end halfway true yes and i know it's not the wish of any woman yes to start a relationship yes. and then it fails on the way true i also wanted to add add to the young people i would want to enlighten them on this physical appearance they are important but not the main thing because you'd rather go for somebody even with a without one leg a lame person but that person's heart is beautiful and that person will give you peace because at our time, we would look for the tall, dark, and handsome. And sometimes, these men we would look for, their hearts were different. Their hearts were not beautiful as the physical features. So it is good to look for people with uh, the kind of character that would uh, build a marriage, a person who would also even please God, and even a person after God that kind of a beautiful heart. If you find somebody, a man after God's heart, that person will even give you peace in marriage. So physical features, let them not, let them not be the main thing. Sura, sura, haita kupatia mani. But when a person has a beautiful heart, a lady or a man, they will give you peace. Look for somebody who is after God's heart, and that person will give you peace eventually, and you'll come out with a beautiful family. Let me ask you a personal question. Yes. Uh, do you, would you, if you got a man, would mm. you get married again? Yes, I'm not yet uh, 60 wow. years. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> I'm not yet 60 years. <laughs> yes, when yeah. you're 60, the Bible says you can get married. And there uh, are men outside there who are not bad yeah. like your first marriage yes they are good men who fear yeah. god yes and who are ready to make a home if god would make a way mm -hmm. i would not test it wow yes uh -huh. yeah okay. not yet 60 mm -hmm. the bible says uh you you uh, if you're not yet 60 you're mm -hmm. still free even if after 60 if there is grace yeah if god gives the grace mm -hmm. we would still jump at the 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 the, 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 the offer true mm. because the grace is sufficient yes now i think that yes. is so good yes. and i know the person who is listening to us yes has learned a lot about your relationship yes and your marriage yes and that is all what this channel is about yes to teach people yes. and people get educated yes. before you enter into marriage yes. and they get to know the challenges they will find in marriage yes. because most of the young people yes. enter into marriage thinking yeah. everything is beautiful yes. throughout. Yes, it's true. They fail to know that in every relationship, yes. even the successful marriages, yes. they are ups and downs. Yes. And you have to include God, like you are saying, yes. to make your home work, to, yes. marriage, to make your marriage yes. work. Yes. Now, I think we are going to wind up and I know that you have run a lot from Pastor Sue's experience mm -hmm. and you can really take time like she has said mm -hmm. when you want to quote someone mm -hmm. or when you meet your soulmate mm -hmm. take time to run them yeah. take time to know what kind of a person you are dating yeah. and take time to run mm -hmm. their characters yes. so that when you enter into marriage it will not be regrets and now we are going to say bye bye for now and may the Lord bless you <music>